Hey guys, it's Lane Morgan here on this beautiful day in South Georgia. I am the owner of Renowned Cargo Trailers. First off, thanks for watching all our videos. Today we got something real special to show you, man. We have specialized in uh, the mobile pet grooming industry and I know for a fact that we build the best trailer out there. I've seen them all um, and there's nobody that can touch ours. Uh, you pay for what you get and you're about to see the best pet grooming trailer in the industry. Um, we've got a couple of them, on, of them on the ground right now. If you'll look over here, Jake, this is just a charcoal gray with a chrome package. The one that we're going to go through today is this one right here. It is a 7x14. It is a silver frost with a blackout package on it. The exterior we did in a silver frost polycore exterior. We did it completely screwless, guys. You don't see any screws going down the side of this thing. So it's glued down, looks real good. The Polycore is an 080 material. The industry standard, what they typically put on trailers is 024 gauge. That is very thin. We use an 080, it is a thick material. It's called Polycore. It is the elite siding that you can put on these enclosed cargo trailers. Right here, we've got the propane uh, cage. Right here, we've got a 100 pound propane tank, guys. Um, this trailer has a generator on it with a dual fuel cell, so you can run it off of propane or you can run it off of gas. Um, you can, this propane will last you about two weeks out there in the field, so if you fill it up, you can operate for about two weeks before you have to fill it back up again. We've got a 5,000 pound uh, Husky Jack, um, great built Jack. You know, at Renowned Cargo Trailers, we don't cut corners when we're building trailers. We wanna build you a superior product and give you a phenomenal price. So that's what we do. We don't cut corners. Um, one thing that's different about ours, that is a steel plate generator platform, not plywood, guys. A lot of other people use plywood and they wrap it with a anodized tread plate or aluminum. They wrap the plywood. That is a steel plate heavy duty generator platform. Um, right here, we've got your 12 volt battery. I'm gonna open this up so you can see what's going on in here. So, there's your generator. That is a 7250 generator. 6,000 running watts, 7250 starting watts. But 6,000 running watts. Plenty of generator to power this trailer. Um, a couple cool things about our generator box is, you know, it's got different compartment doors as you can see that open up. This one opens up as well. Um, there should be one over here on the side. That's how you start it. It's an electric start. It's got a remote control, very easy to uh, get going. A lot of people that are using these are women, so we're thinking about you guys. We have a power jack on there, so you don't have to crank that jack up and down. We've got a push button start generator. Easy peasy, you don't have to pull nothing. You just hit, simply click a button and it fires off. Right here is your motor base plug, guys. This is a 50 amp motor base plug, just like on campers. You uh, plug your cord in, twist and lock cord, then you'll run this to the generator and that's what powers your trailer. Or if you're hooked to a shoreline, you can plug it into the shoreline and just plug it into the trailer and get your power from there. We've got an extended tongue on it, guys, so you don't have to worry about any, when you're making tight turns, you don't have to worry about hitting your trailer or anything on the front of your trailer. All the trim's done in black. Remember, this is a blackout package. We've got 5,200 pound axles on it, guys. Uh, we can put alloy wheels if you want it. Uh, alloy wheels just dresses it up a little bit better, but this customer wanted just the blackout package. Um, if we'll go inside, I'm gonna show you a few things. We've got a 36 inch RV door right here. We put a window with a screen in it, and we've also got a screen door on the inside. So if the customer wanted to open up the door and feel some cool breeze, they can do that. We've also got a door hole back on here, so this catches your door and keeps the door held back if you want to keep it open. RV pull out step. Helps you get in and out of the trailer uh, so you don't have to step all the way up in the trailer. We did a, a magnificent job on the inside of this thing, man. Come on in here. So first of all, look at those pretty floors, man. Uh, laminate wood grain floors. Nobody else is doing that. We've got polycore on our walls. This isn't your aluminum interior. This is polycore, very thick, durable. Um, it also doesn't draw as much heat. We've got this trailer insulated. We've got um, 
overhead cabinets up here for storage space. Two cabinet doors. We've got you some drawers here. Check that out, guys. Boom. And also, you're going to get to see something in the back and see what that does as well. But you got some drawers here, more cabinet space down here. And uh, we've got plenty of receptacles. Um, this right here is your electrical panel box. So this is uh, what powers your trailer. We've got more receptacles up here. We've got a clipper vac system right here. Here is your dryer as well. This is your dryer. Your clipper vac system is on the um, other side of that partition wall. You'll be able to see it soon um, when we check out the back side. We've got a 62 inch tub right here, guys. This is a big tub made by Flying Pig. If you're in the mobile business, in the dog grooming business, you don't want nothing but Flying Pig products because they are the best. There's a lot of cheaper tubs out there and they will collapse if you put a German Shepherd in them. Um, I've been doing this for a while now, nearly 10 years, and when we first started getting into this industry, into the mobile pet grooming business, it was a learning curve for us. Anything you start at the beginning, you learn a lot. Well, I quit using the cheap tubs because they were having issues. This is a flying pig tub. You won't have any problems with it. I can get this tub. I'm 280 pounds and it will hold me and do just fine. We've got uh, another little cabinet door right here. Give you some more cabinet space right there. Um, this is a 12 volt fan, um, powered fan. So you can let some of the air out. If you're washing the dogs, it'll pull some of the air out. We've got a 15,000 BTU air conditioner on this thing with some LED lights in the ceiling. Again, it's insulated. Everything you need is right here in this trailer. Let's go around to the back, guys. Axles. Uh, instant hot water heater, runs off propane. You will never run out of hot water. If you are washing dogs, you don't want to run out of hot water. You want these dogs comfortable. So it has an instant hot water heater. Um, it's gonna go around, there's one more. Let's look in the back real quick. So we've got barn doors on the rear, guys. Okay, this is an 80 gallon fresh water tank. 80 gallons right here, guys. A lot of fresh water. You can see we've got it filled up. We've uh, ran it through quality control. Everything works properly. We've got your instant hot water heater, like I told you, there it is. Um, runs off propane. And then here's your clipper back system, guys. Uh, that's where you can clip the dogs and we've got the hose running through the partition wall so it's easy to access. Right here now, this is something very cool. Nobody else is doing this. Remember I said at Renowned Cargo Trailers, we're not cutting corners. This trailer is going up north. We sell a lot of these in Michigan, Wisconsin, Canada. And guess what, it gets real cold up there. Uh, this water will freeze. With this heater system that we've got back in here, uh, it was in the front of that drawer, you just plug it into the receptacle, you turn on the heater, and it keeps this room back here, guys, at 65 degrees, uh, which is plenty of water freezes, I think, at 32 degrees. So this room will be 65 degrees with that heater running, and your water will not freeze in your tanks. Again, it's a learning curve. We learned a lot. We've also got a uh, LED light in the ceiling. Plenty of more receptacles up there if you ever need to plug anything else in. Again, polychore exterior, guys. Look how durable that stuff is. That is not your aluminum that you see on regular cargo trailers. LED strip lights. Jake, look how flat and smooth that is. It lays flat, looks smooth, and it doesn't look like a wrinkled up potato chip pad going down the road. We've got uh, 30 by 30 uh, windows right here, egress windows. Um, so you can pop them out if you need to jump out of the trailer. Hopefully that's not the case. But guys, like I said, we have figured this thing out. If you're looking for a high quality, um, superior mobile pet grooming trailer, give us a call at Renowned Cargo. We can hook you up. We keep these things rolling down the line. These two are actually already sold, but we've got more coming off. We've got about two coming off every week. So give us a call, get in line, get your spot, reserve your color. If you want a different color, we can, we're starting to wrap these things. We got one coming out in about four or five weeks. It's gonna be pretty pink, son. 
Uh, girls love pink. We're doing a pink one with a blackout package. I can't wait to see it. We're going to start wrapping them for you as well. But guys, give us a call at 888-287-3954. You can find us online at renownedcargotrailers.com. We do all kind of trailers, uh, mobile pet grooming trailers, concession trailers, regular trailers, race car trailers, any kind of thing to do with a trailer, we can do it. We've always said, if you can dream it, we can build it, and we love being part of y'all's dreams and helping you uh, succeed in life. So guys, thanks for watching our videos. Be sure to check us out online, subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, hit like, share it with all your friends, and we look forward to seeing you soon. One thing I do want to tell you before we get off of this video is the reason I got in this business was to uh, use this business as a platform for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Um, the gospel means good news, and the good news is that we have a Savior that died on a cross. We're getting close to Easter. We're about to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ, and he came and changed my life when I was 26 years old. I called upon his name. He met me right where I was at in that dark place, and um, his light exposed all that darkness, and uh, he redeemed me. He saved me. He changed my life. My life hadn't been the same since. It's the best decision I've ever made my whole entire life. Um, but guys, I want you to know that Jesus loves you. I don't care what you've done last night, what you're doing right now. He came to save you and rescue you. Um, this is a crazy world we live in, and I don't know how I've made it 26 years without him, but I'm sure glad that I got him now. Um, and I know that he sticks closer to me than a brother, and he will never leave me or forsake me. And he meets all of my needs according to his riches and glory. So guys, if you just want to call and talk about Jesus, call us here at Renowned Cargo Trailers. That's what we love to do. If you're interested in a trailer, give us a call. We can't wait to talk to you soon, guys. Thanks for watching our videos, and y'all know the rest. Until then, y'all be blessed.